Welcome to the listening room. I'm here with Sean and Deben. So this guy. It's going to be my laughter from now on. You have to have a unique laughter on these kind of things. So people like can pick you up. So mine's going to be like, hi, 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 hi. Just like how M. Ravi does. Correct. M. M. Ravi. You, you have to pick your, wait, before we go on M. Ravi, you have to pick your laughter. Uh, it's quite important to me. Mine is ha, 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 ha. Deben? No, I'll laugh later. When it's actually funny. Yeah. No? Okay, can can M Ravi, actually that's how he is. He, to <laughs> me, that's how he is. That's really that's he's so he's so random and like like I think it's known right. He's bipolar, correct? Yeah. Uh, uh, wait, like wait. Wha- I have to be. Th- this one has to be certain because he might just sue me for no reason. Is he or is he not bipolar? He like is. He is. He is. Is it's a factual thing and it's yeah, already it's a factual been thing. okay. So he's bipolar and yeah. he's been this bad. That that's for two years. For for two years. Yes. So that guy's just insane. He was like exactly the way I was just now. You know, all, all over, all over. Play. Hey, hi, here's my my can. <laughs> yeah. Like something like that, right? You were pretty insane until I gave you a beer and then you just calm down. Yeah, that's 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 the remedy. Delirious. That's the remedy. That's the remedy we have. Oh, look at my glasses. You see stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm rough. yeah. And that guy practices what? Okay, he practiced. Was. Law. Yeah, he was practicing. I think something happened that snapped him. Now he kind of he kind of ruled Facebook a lot, like the past couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. Like everything I see on my Facebook page is just like people his like live feed, yeah. just sharing his live feed. Mm-hmm. It's pretty insane. His live feed has been extremely entertaining for the past few days. Like, <laughs> wow! I actually haven't watched it yet. You All know, over the place, know. from his uh, flat to the to office, some random void deck. Him sweating profusely, wearing a <laughs> wearing a suit <laughs> with a fedora, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and a white deck in his office where there are like people, <laughs> cops and all coming in. Yeah, Co- wait, what? Oh. Why? What were the cops there though? Yeah, why? They no, that? okay. See now, there's so his firm, mm. Violet Nito, allegedly, they are having some problems with uh, the landlord. Right. Right. So. The landlord says that they they have cancelled their tenancy agreement, mm-hmm. and someone else has paid for that uh lot. So they are saying like you guys should get out. So they are all like Indian men <laughs> who are coming to their office, and they are all like older. I think in their forties or what. So they're coming over and saying that get out and stuff like that. This is our place. We have paid for it. And then <laughs> this guy is like, no, do you know the law, the land law of Singapore and stuff like that? He's ca- he's coming in and saying that, no, <laughs> we are the te- lawful tenants. Lawfully, you're not allowed to enter <laughs> the premises. And and the cops are there and he's recording the cops and he's like berating the cops. Yeah, it's kind of... It was like, oh, wow. It's kind of torture say, to watch. Like he's what asking what them what for their IC number. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of... And like, wow, I, I'm going to sue you. Uh, why do I need the IC number? I need I need your IC number because I want to sue you. <laughs> the cops are like, what the hell is happening? And he's addressing them as darling. It's <laughs> 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 through darling, you know why I'm saying this? You know, darling, you keep <laughs> keep calm. Keep calm. <laughs> exactly like what, what I mean. He's all over the place. He's what, all like over the place. And he's repeating shit to them. And all of them are like, can I just like slowly back out? <laughs> <laughs> like, like could, could he possibly be, be drunk though? No, right? I don't know. But I mean, you look at the all the posts following up to that. Mm-hmm. It's kind of in the same vein, though. Yeah, like eccentric, crazy, crazy shit. shit. And, he sh- and you saw the video of him and the the other guy, Charles Yeo, and yeah, and some shouting co- in a, a coffee shouting shop, shouting match in yeah. a coffee shop, and then they're filming each other. It's actually quite childish, uh, in a sense. Grown but man yeah, doing but that. It, but it's just so like outlandish. You're like lawyers. Just shouting wow. at each other. Yeah, but I like at the end when he walks up to the counter and like, hey, do copy. <laughs> ah, no, copy and copy liang te. Uh, <laughs> copy liang te. I don't know whether he meant it as like copy liang te or he meant like copy and then he wanted to say something else but liang te just came out. <laughs> Maybe he was buying more things. Than Maybe he's me. buying more than one. But yeah. then because George is coming now. Yeah, b- because yeah, George is coming now. Whoever George is. <laughs> Apparently George is like his, uh, his like what? Uh, I don't know. George seems like a <laughs> very imagi- normal Chinese he's man. He, he, oh, he's not an imaginary friend. No, no, no. Ah, he's a real person. He's a real person. And he was going to... He was. I think we are recording this on a Saturday and he was inviting everyone to his house for breakfast uh-huh. and lunch. He was going to cook bihun for breakfast and... Ooh. And dal samba for would lunch, and he did mention hungry. like about five to six times that George will be there. Yeah. <laughs> George, George Wait, will be there. Is it all my friends from? 
Is it an open invitation to his house? <laughs> I think it was. Oh, on really? Facebook. On Facebook Live. Wow, that's it was crazy. like whoever wants to come, you got bihun. When was and this? And then you got peanut uh, butter and bread. Are we, are we too late for, those for, that, for that invitation? I think we are. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. That'll be free lunch, man. So on I a get Saturday afternoon. I, I get to see George in person. Yeah, you'd. <laughs> but what, wait, is, I mean, have you all seen George? Like yes, I have no. seen George on one of the videos. I think let's do a let's step back a bit and give a bit of uh, history to this guy. Yeah, and M- M- like Robbie. How did he come about? Him. Yeah, like so he, he was practicing law in Singapore, mainly like human rights law, mm. trying to protect people who have been uh, charged for like, crimes like uh, drug trafficking and stuff like that. Be- uh, whichever crimes would carry a capital punishment. Yeah, and he's and he's quite against that capital punishment. Yes, well, he right? against he's against that. Uh, he's a LGBT a- advocate. Advocate. Wait, yeah. Wait, LGBTQ. Q, yeah. I and A. Many more letters. Yeah, to many more to letters. Yeah. Yeah. More letters. We are trying our best to <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, keep up. We are trying our best to keep LGBT up. LGBT yeah. was by by like like it's like ages ago. No, it was like convenient because you know LGBT. But now if they come up with so many letters, they can actually form a proper word. True. But yeah, they can. But let's not. Segue into that. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. So back to M. Ravi, right? So he was practicing law and he was trying to help people who have been charged for like drug trafficking for Malaysia and mm-hmm. stuff like mm. that. He has like a couple of high profile cases where he was uh, representing the defendant. Yeah. The, the person who's charged. And after that, slowly he started like talking shit about the government. Yeah. And then he said that he's going to stand for the general election. As a MP, I I forgot which. Um, it was the orange color one, right? I think might have been orange or or red. No, that's might J- have been orange. S- is the J right? Might be S D num A. No, no, no. Orange is Reform Party, right? Reform Party is the. R- uh, Jaya Kenneth Ratnam. Kenneth J Ratnam's uh, party. Son, right? Yeah. No, no. Uh, J B J Ratnam's son, ah. Kenneth J J Ratnam. And he he was part of the S D A, like with the with the. Dr. Chi? Uh, Dr. Chi Sun Juan is uh, SDP. Oh, so he's with SDA, Dr. Chi? No, no, no. Dr. No. Chi Sun SDP. Okay. SDP. And he's SDA. SDA. Uh. Sing- I think Singapore Democratic Alliance. Yeah, SDA. SDA, right? Yep. Yeah. It looks mm. like a deformed Audi logo <laughs> 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 with like an arrow <laughs> on top, right? Right, right, yeah, yeah. SDA. Yeah. 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 SDA. Now that you mention it. Wow. Yeah. Man. So he stood for it. And everyone was questioning, like, how is this guy standing for elections? Yeah. Like, well, why? Why would any sane person, like, party chairman, like... Yeah. Invite him to. No, but actually, come like, where where he started from, I think he came from a good place, right? I think he did. Yeah. yeah but but somewhere along the but way... But after that, he just became a joke. Stressed by... Kind of lost him. Like, I mean, me- mental, this is, like, super breakdown? old... Yeah, maybe. And then he got diagnosed with uh, bipolar disorder and stuff right. like that. And he d- he said something about I forgot what was it about uh, Lee Kuan Yew or Lee Hsien Long or mm. someone he said some something about them, and then it, they wanted to sue him. Ooh. Yeah, right. And then that is when it came out that he has been diagnosed with bipolar, bipolar disorder. And well, they brought they brought it up to the law society. They wanted him disbarred and stuff like that. That's yeah. And there's this video of him appealing that, uh-huh. like going to the law society and trying to submit his appeal. And it is fucking hilarious. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> how, fucking how did it go? <laughs> it was a joke, man. It was really a joke. <laughs> was there was this Indian lady holding up a placard <laughs> with some shit. And she's like, <laughs> 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 like don't film me. <laughs> like, film whatever the fuck is going on. And they are like trying to enter in there. And he is like uh, describing every single thing that they are trying to do in the video. It was, it was hilarious. Oh. I think it's still on YouTube if, if anyone wants to go and check <laughs> it out. And uh, his Facebook page. I think it's M. Ravi. <laughs> yeah, just search just M. Ravi. Just M. Ravi would do. Yeah, just yeah. M. Ravi would do. We're trying to go in now. We're trying to submit the thing. We're trying. It's something like uh, that. Yeah, you know, it was something like that. You know, I know I'm here to appeal. You know. Describing yeah, every long step long society yeah, in um, Singapore. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> and, and, and it's so funny. It's so damn funny. And now, wow. He's like calling the cops darling. Yeah, that's he's like He's just talking to people and then suddenly he's like, A bit oh, crossing darling. the line. Yeah. <laughs> a bit respect, cringeworthy. Respect the police, <laughs> bro. He's singing Tamil songs huh? there to yeah, random what? people. <laughs> Taking music videos in his house as well. Creating <laughs> one. 
No, but uh, uh, one of the best things are the bihun and the the bihun video. Yeah. That, that he's talking about coconut milk. Hey, coconut oil. Oh, you know, you go to Little India, you can just buy coconut oil. You don't need to go anywhere else and buy. And <laughs> <like> <laughs> <out>. <laughs> then he's just like showing us his plants. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. I was like, wow. He's like, yeah, come down, huh? George will be here. <laughs> George, yeah, the imaginary George. friend, George. <laughs> So but like not imaginary. He's real, right? He's yeah, real. He's, he's, real. Real. he's real. He's real. He was part of the major part of the videos yesterday. <laughs> he was filming most of the thing. George was filming most. George of the was stuff. filming. Yeah, oh, yeah. George was because filming. the cops entered. Uh-huh. They he called the cops. M Ravi called the cops <laughs> because there were Indian guys who came in and they were saying that you guys have to go out and they were like, no, you are here unlawfully. You have to go out. Yeah. So M Ravi called <laughs> the cops <laughs> and he was like, where is this Kentonman? Ah? Where, where, where is it? <laughs> then he started talking to the, the person in Malay and <laughs> I was like wow I was like wow this guy <laughs> he's trying to show off his uh, linguistic Multi- yeah. Yeah, and, linguistic and all this is caught on video that's yeah. just the George was filming all George of George was wow. filming Judge wow and then another Indian guy comes in oh my friend this is my friend Kanan Kanan ah, come in come in ah, Kanan 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 ah, bah, bah. <laughs> <laughs> then that guy comes in he's like you know there are fellas outside there and he's like who who where 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 who I was like, no, no, you relax. The cops are coming down. <laughs> police, <laughs> Singapore police force, they're coming down. You relax, you sit down. This sounds like 1980s Singapore. Yeah. <laughs> not, not 2017. <laughs> <laughs> it is so hilarious. It's such an entertainment. But apparently he has some vendetta against uh, Shan Mugam. Uh. Mm. Personal he, vendetta. He hates him to the core or something. I was or like thinking like maybe the person he had an affair with was Ravi's wife or something. No, I don't think he, he's not married, dude. He's not married? M. Ravi is not married. Yeah, definitely not. No, but whatever it is, like, if he has an affair or whatever, that's his personal thing. No, not really. It depends on who the affair was with. No, but you see, if it comes out into the public arena, uh-huh. right, if it's if it gets exposed with evidence, and then, you know, there'll be an apology, there'll be a resignation, and then, yeah, but yeah. then you move on. Like, Ravi. what happened to the member of parliament, Michael Palmer, right? Mm. Yeah. He acknowledged it. He left the parliament. He left his law firm mm. and he went to set up his own private practice with other two lawyers, you see? He acknowledged it and he was like, okay, yes, I've made a mistake and yeah. that's that's it. Yeah, but that was but if you don't evidence. have any proof, yeah, if you don't have any proof... And again, you know, his history is not helping. But ca- can he's not helping can him uh, uh, Shamugam sue him for defamation? Yes. If wait, He can, no. but he can. I don't think he will. Yeah. This guy is ill. True lah. This true. guy is ill. Uh, like one of the guys who commented on his Facebook live was like Mr. Ravi have you taken your meds <laughs> oh really <laughs> yeah awesome savage <laughs> <I was laughs> like, yes yes right on the no. but you see most of uh, most of the people tagging each other are all Indians <laughs> <laughs> they are like yes this guy is singing Tamil songs <laughs> 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 saying shut your mouth in Tamil to the guy like ah poor guy la. and yeah. like I think it was uh, was it last year I think it was last year he was like dancing at the temple in oh during Taipu Sam. Oh shit! Yeah, it, it was like wow. What is wrong? Is there's a video for that? Yes, yes. Oh my god! It's like the Indian there's version of Stephen Lim. Indian version of Stephen Lim. Who's Stephen Lim? The other guy that's also an uh, atten- attention seeker. The guy who uh, who became famous oh in infamous Inf- infamous yeah. Yeah. uh Banana? the Singapore Idol yeah the Banana. guy who stripped down to his underwear. Ah, remember him? Then no. Na- yeah. yeah. Then now he's like doing. Uh, he's like a headhunter for his own model agency or something. He stripped down to his yeah, undies yeah. and in on, on public on on national TV. On national, when, 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 on national TV. When did this the happen? The first season of first uh, season. Singapore Idol. He was known as the Banana. Wait, when when was the yeah, first season of Singapore Idol? No idea. Long time ago. I think no. we we would have to be in poly during that time. Yeah, yeah. Maybe even before, man. Maybe even before. I'm not sure, but he was known as the the, 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 the banana? Yellow yellow sh- something. I can't recall this. No, I just remember the yellow. I think it's because yellow. I didn't pay any attention to Singapore at all. Yeah, probably probably yeah. so, but he, he, he stood out there and then he... 2005. Yeah. Whew. We first year. Fucking long. Whew. Yeah. So um, the first place is Taufik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taufik yeah, won. Yeah. Then it was... The next one was... Sil- Sylvester. Uh, Sylvester? Yeah. No, no, I mean like the next person that won it. Oh, n- the season two? Yeah. He went to win no idea. Wi- win like the world idol or something. Uh, no, some Whoa. Asian idol or something. Is it? Was it uh, Taufik? 
Taufik who won the Asia, the Southeast Asian Asia. One of them won something. Yeah, yeah I think it's yeah. Stephen. Stephen Lim is the same thing. Oh, is it Hardy? Hardy. Ah, Hardy Mirza. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He won the second season, and then he also won like Asian Idol or something like. Ah uh, right. Yeah. Where are these guys now? I don't know. Uh, somewhere, somewhere, fame, somewhere, living life. The yeah. Living life. Somewhere living life. Yeah. Everyone's somewhere. living their life. Yeah, but not like them. Not like them. I kind of agree with uh, um. <laughs> Fuck. Huh? <laughs> Fucking brain coma. Brain freeze. Brain freeze. Foo fighters. Foo fighters. What you agree with? Foo fighters. Oh, what's what? What's the guy? <sighs> Dave Grohl. Yeah, kind of. Dave, no, Dave Grohl said something where uh, about uh, American like Idol. Yeah, M- American Idol. Yeah. What did he say? Is that um, like how you how you like how you get good at mu- how you get good at music is like you go with a bunch of friends and mm-hmm. play in a garage and you suck at first, but you keep practicing until you yes. become good. Yes. Yeah. And not go on stage and then no in front of a TV audience and have someone shit on you. Yeah. He was referring to uh, his uh, Nirvana e- experience, where him and dude, that's how. Most musicians come yeah. up. They play in a garage and then just whoever. Yeah. Yeah. You think singers just spend their time at home just singing? Well, Ed Sheeran. Yeah. They actually play instruments. Yeah, yeah exactly. but but Ed Sheeran also has a story like he couldn't sing. Apparently he couldn't sing. And then through hard work he, he sang. Like he has a recording of how he sounded before this. Yeah, because he and was he gives people hope. Because he was mm. horrible. Because he did not train. Yeah, no, and then he trained. Yeah, then he trained and yeah. then he sounds like how he sounds right now. But yeah. he was like last it's time. It's like, like someone who couldn't cook. And then you practice and train and yeah, you taste it. Yeah, it's like eventually it was like you can. So like the, the the problem with Dave Grohl in in the in what in what he was saying is that like if you for like aspiring like singer, you go on like American Idol and you get yeah. shit on by judges, you might just give up, you know. Oh the dream. yeah. But you no, he no, was no, saying no. you shouldn't do that. You should like train and practice and yeah. keep doing it. Play a, play an instrument. Yeah. yeah. That's how you actually learn. You l- you you'll get better way faster. Instead of just like going to a vocal coach and just doing it, mm. and they would also use a keyboard or piano and to teach you. Yeah, to because get you need a reference. Yeah, to get a tone right. Yeah, and but it might be tone deaf actually. I don't, I'm not sure. Give me a tone right now. Any tone. What? Give you a tone? Yeah. Do do something. How how do they do it? Like burp. What's that? That's a burp. No, that that like burp. What 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 tone? What key is that? Uh, dude, I I don't know. You don't know? Then why am I looking at you? <laughs> Dude, what's okay. it? What's it? Burr. What's that? Oh, that, that's the burr. See, he, he got the burr. And what's... Ha! That was like way off. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a different key, dude. Oh, so it was like burr and then... Burr. burr. That was like... That was like a... Oh, I actually have... I actually have tone. I... Yeah. I, I thought I didn't have tone. I just thought but, mon- but there mon- are mon- tone deaf people out there. I, I can tell you that. No, I, c- I couldn't tell what tone is this. I, 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 I always wanted to sound like Arnold. I want to be like Arnold. It's like, <laughs> get to the chopper now. Uh, like something like that. There was a, it's just damn cool voice. You go down. It it's I, uh, I, I could always think there's a recipe for that. No recipe for that? Yeah, steroids and cigars. No. Yeah. I don't think so. It's like, I, I would always imagine like going for a job interview and it's like, hello, my name is Sean. I was like, you know, the impression they give is like an impact. Like, hello, Sean. If you're from Austria, you might sound like that. No, not all Austrians sound like that. That's why that's the cool thing. I think Arnold's just unique. Like, just go down there and, hello, my name is so-and-so. Hire me. And you'll go higher. (laughs) Like, higher. And say, how high? Like, chopper high. Chopper, all the way. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper now. Ah, uh, there's something like that. It's like, oh, <laughs> dude, but the chopper thing was way later than. Yeah, it's than true, la. It's like, but, but, it's, but it's his thing. Every time you see, if, if you have not watched the documentary Pumping Iron, you should. Pumping Iron. Yeah. Oh, is that the one where he commented like working out gives him a high? Uh, it was quite, <laughs> it was quite cringeworthy to watch. Like one, he was describing working out to an orgasm. Is it? Like, I I can't recall that. If no, it, it was said a, that it's actually, a documentary or something. It's, it's a he documentary was, about, I think one, uh, it's documenting how, I think it's Mr. Lumpia in the 70s. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. How many yeah. times did he, he won that like seven times? Or seven. Like mm. He won it seven times. Pretty insane. And I think there's only one guy, Ronnie Coleman. Yeah, he won mm. it more. Eight. He mm. won it eight yeah. times. Yeah. He beat, uh, and his uh, name, I can't spell his name. 
Oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwartz. S C H. That's watch it, yeah. I get lost after SCH. Yeah, but you should watch it. You should watch it. It's yeah, quite interesting. I think it might be on Netflix. Ma- might be. Netflix. Yeah. Mm. Netflix and chill, Sean. Netflix and chill. Yeah, but who wants the Netflix and chill to Arnold Schwarzenegger? Pumping iron. Pumping iron. No, like you watch uh, that and then there's a like a newer documentary called mm. Generation Iron. Ooh. It's about bodybuilders, about I'm guessing. Yeah, it, it's about like bodybuilders. I, I think it's very recent. It's I'm like not I'm not so into the idea of watching <laughs> No, it's watching men it pumping iron. Pi- pumping iron. No, you just see like the difference in like the the, oh, the, the background the, of the, the people. Era, okay. Yeah, and how they like what their mentality is. Like there's like the the main guy in Generation Iron is this guy called um Phil Heath. Right. Who's like the reigning Mr. Olympia. I think he's won it like five to six times already. Ooh. In like successively. Right? And this guy is like riding like his like convertible Merc Ooh, and okay. he's living life he's getting tailored suits for himself and shit like that and then you've got another guy called Kai Green mm-hmm. right who lives still lives in like I think Brooklyn or somewhere in New York uh-huh. in like a small apartment oh it's one of those li- oh, okay cooks his own food wow yeah like packs his own and he's wild and, this, guy's and like this guy has been like consistently getting second and everyone is like Shit, Kai Green should win, but he can't win because what? he's got baggage. Like when he was younger, he he did some like, like some pawn shit, so they would never allow him to win. Wow. Oh, that sucks. But it's it it's, it's like how like you know WWE they have this Hall of Fame shit, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So China can never, or not. I should not say can never. I think now since she has passed on, uh, they're considering. Mm-hmm. Uh inducting her into the Hall of Fame but before that they did not want to induct her into the Hall of Fame because she did porn mm. right and now yeah. since it's a very family friendly company they, they've they, gone they all PG and that. stuff yeah, like that. yeah they don't want that it's, it, they have to keep the, the, the award like prestigious yeah and but if you, if but dude this is for bodybuilding it's not yeah. you see it's not like WWE WWE oh yeah, they okay. are considering that no but if he keeps getting company. second that means yeah. he's, he's good enough but yeah like, so like wh- why isn't he getting like sponsorships or he's getting sponsorships man he's like he's got money, okay, but so he's still like down to earth, and ah, he's okay, still okay. living the same lifestyle that, that. I get that one. That's not bad. That's that brought him up, so it's like actually like he's like talk. And it's very like philosophical. He's damn good art. Like artist is like drawing shit, right? Like painting and stuff. He's very good. But his and biceps are like probably the yeah, size yeah, of my thighs. Yeah, I yeah, think bigger. Pop, pop, pop. Every every one of his paintbrushes would break. No, like when he like gets frustrated, oh and he's shit. like he's like cooking, and he's he's got all the burners on, even Why? though he's not using. Why? Because he just wants it to feel like an inferno, and he's wearing like a jumper. He's wearing like a hoodie. Oh, oh to lose weight. Yeah, to, to lose. No, not to lose weight. Why? It's, he's just like sweating. He just likes it, and the the guy who's like filming it is like, is it about like you losing water weight to look more cut and stuff yeah. like that? He's like, no, I just like it. Wow. And he eats enough food. To gain back all the water content, so he just likes it. In one day, he eats enough food to feed a family of four. Uh, wait, yeah, for a week. He's like fuck. He's like tilapia, chicken breast, white rice, no, but vegetables. Like, woo. But is that a thing? Is it? Do do have you heard of like other bodybuilders doing the same thing, liking the heat? No. No, right. It's only him. No, the rest of them are all like, ec- they got people to prepare their uh, meals, man. Uh, yeah. True. Not a man. Like, I mean, the heat thing. So 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 that means it doesn't mean that he this guy doesn't have money. It shows that he he's yeah, got he money. Lives, he he's lives, got money he now. He lives a simple life. He was, I think, he was here here in Singapore <laughs> like oh. recently, and everyone's mm. like, "What?" And this he he got so pissed off about how he's always going to Mr. Olympia and he's not winning. He's always getting second or some shit like that. Yeah. So he did not participate like one of the years, and yeah. then he just went for the Arnold Classic, and he won it. Arnold, mm. yeah. Yeah. politics though. I think it is. Probably I think is it right. is. Yeah. yeah. But it's a very interesting documentary. M- you might find it on Netflix. But I think now. Yeah, but they're mm. definitely all on steroids, right? Some form of steroids. Uh, it's not... You c- it's Actually, hard to say. No, it's hard but to say. But the so judges would be able to tell. Cause no, but... Steroids, no, have, th- a star- steroids no. have a way of, like... Mission- yeah, it, it like shows up on okay, your body, but... But, no, but this is this, this the thing, though. You know when the Lance, Lance Armstrong thing came out? Yeah. yeah and then... That's a yeah, but... 
It's not just him, man. Like fucking everyone. Almost everyone. Yeah, everyone almost everyone. everyone. The top 20 all cyclists drugs, in the world were all on all some drugs. kind of drug. So when people are shitting on Lance, Lance Armstrong, you have to understand that he's doing it to win. And because yeah. everyone else is doing it as well. Yeah. They're only shitting on him because he lied. Like he publicly. lied about it. Yeah. 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 yeah plus, he won the the the, the seven the times. No, but so did he win it? Like yeah. everyone, the top twenty are all all on drugs. Well, like so this means that he. But then there was another American guy that won it, and then they stripped him of his title. But he actually like, the only thing he did was, uh, he s- he uh, simulated um, high altitude sleeping, like you know the chamber. Right. Yeah. So you, what you do is you sleep inside a chamber. And you reduce the amount of oxygen that enters uh. the chamber. So your when you are sleeping and recovering, your body gets used to lesser oxygen being uh, getting absorbed into your bloodstream. Sounds very scary. Yeah, but uh, uh, allegedly it's like totally fine. It's just like a lower level of oxygen. So basically, uh, suffocating yourself while you're sleeping. No, it's just simulating like you staying at altitude. Oh, okay. Like you mm. training. Probably and recovering. climbers do this, right? Yeah. Mountain climbing. So why, why why instead of you climbing a mountain, you yeah. simulate a mountain. Oh, but why at your why own home. why is it illegal? Uh, now it's not. Oh now, oh. but okay. he did that kind of thing. So they were like, so did you do it? Did you do blood doping? So did you like, uh, draw a blood or bag a uh, bag of blood of your own and closer towards competition? Did you like, replenish yourself with the with the blood? Oh, I heard about because that. Because yeah. you replenish more blood, you have more red uh, blood cells and more oxygen being uh, transported to your oh, interesting. limbs or yeah and so they took the title away he won Tour de France American guy yeah it's pretty insane but um, I, I know a couple of people in Singapore who actually take steroids but not the injection one because I, I think about steroids is that they have different classes as well yeah, yeah, if, yeah. You, if you go to like a, like a dermatologist they might Give you yeah, like yeah, a yeah. cream steroid. Yeah. 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 For so like I recovery. But I'm not sure about this competition, like which of these forms of steroids is illegal. Um, you know, like some maybe some pill form is then you would have to go to like the WADA list. Yeah. The anti doping. Like they've got a whole list of like steroids. Yeah. Or and chemicals or whatever that is not legal. That's not legal, yeah. Yeah. So if you're but if you're a sports sports person, mm. you have to get tested. But I'm pretty sure that we not not everyone gets tested. Dude, uh, I, even think v- I think Venus Williams, who she was meant to get tested, and she ran and hit in like a basement or some shit like that, thinking that... W- then she said that, oh, I thought that it was an intruder. Someone was trying to like get into my house, but it's actually not. It was like in competition testing or out Th- of competition look testing. Look at her thighs. Look at her thighs. Venus, not not Serena. Oh. Wait, what? Right, okay. How the smaller thighs one. I knew that you were going <laughs> Immediately, once you said thighs, I knew that you uh, you have to be on steroids to have that ha- to achieve those thighs. Thighs. <laughs> Venus Williams is the older, slender one. Okay, but you look at some of the bodybuilders, older right? And you look at one? and you look at their body. That's I don't know, man. Like it's not it's not natural. It's not normal for. Of a course, it's not natural. No, but, but you have you need to have drugs in order to achieve oh, that. Oh no, no, some form of drugs, man. Supplements are supplements. Su- yeah, natural supplements. Supplements, but supplements but are also drugs, right? It's just that it's legal. Yeah, but it's not natural. Oh right, like like steroids, you consuming steroids. so much protein, but steroids in terms of steroids. Yeah, I, I'm but not, uh, I'm but not ste- expert. steroids, the like, you see, it's a very loose term. Mm. Steroids, right? So mm. it's that's the thing. Testosterone, yeah. right? Yeah. So right. it helps you recover. It increases your testo- testosterone. Yeah. Yeah, but the testosterone, the the elevated levels of testosterone usually help you to recover. So they can go into the gym and work out even harder the next day. Yeah, but mm. uh, in in higher dosages, they they work they work better for a while. But then you will see the side effects. Yeah, you will right? see because the side effects. Because when you have an elevated amount of testosterone, so your, your body, body will start building the, the estrogen yeah. estrogen level. Yeah. So then you you are combating both. Yeah. Mm. Right. Sorry, no. Right. Yes. Then you st- you start to get tits. Yes. Breastesis. And your and that's where you become like important because your balls start stop. Yeah, producing because there's a conflict. You see, your yeah. body is uh, is getting so much amount of uh, such a huge amount of testosterone, and then estrogen suddenly, like your body yeah. is like, wait, let me balance this out. Yeah, and then you lose that amount of testosterone because there's a there's, like there's this thing called a ratio, like testosterone to epi testosterone ratio. Mm. Like a normal human being is like two to one, mm. then a, or two to one, three to one. A four guy, four guy. Yeah, a elite ath- athlete would have it about five to one. 
maybe about that. But a- anything above like six to one, you know that there's something going wrong. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. So most athletes, what do they do is like, so they are doing steroids. Mm-hmm. So it's above like six to one, seven to one. So they go and have syn- synthetic epi testosterone pumped into their system mm. via the some f- kind of drug. Yeah. Then it becomes more level. That's insane, dude. Yeah. Uh, what so a side, like long term side effects is going to fuck up your body. Yeah. It, it is. It it's is. Only for that, they only do it for that one moment and then, you know. Yeah, but if you're competing every year, you know. Yeah. They, then they you're doing like it almost every year for like what? Five, yeah. six years? Yeah, that's what it's they gonna, do. It's gonna have a long term like side effect. Succeed for that that one moment, but then you see them when they get older and then everything starts to. No, there's this guy called um, Victor Conte. He used to be a bassist in a band. Yeah. Uh, I forgot the the band's name, but then like he quit the band and then he like w- went to work for his like relative's lab. Yeah. And then he eventually he figured out that you know you can actually sell. Like high high end performance enhancing drugs to athletes, which can't be picked up by the testing. Uh, right? Ooh. right. So he he had this company called Belco Labs. Right. And he started selling it to like like Marion Jones bought stuff from him. Shit. You had uh the boxer Sugar Shane Mosley bought it from him. Like so many of them, like they were all like he gave up the list of them like but this was couple. This, this was not. Yeah, he went 90s, to jail right? for that. I uh, uh, was it nineties or two thousand? He went to jail for that. I'm pretty sure now, like technology has come to a point where you can oh detect dude. almost. Be- they are very smart, man. They are still very smart. You can still circumvent the tests. Right. You can there still always be ways. Like they call it, s- they they call it cycling off. Mm. So you you take the drugs, to a certain time, and then you stop. And when it. you know that you're gonna get tested, yeah, you s- you stop. You you know so like you flush it out of your body and everything. Yeah, so your body like there's like a natural uh half life period, yeah. right? So it goes off your system, and by the time they test you, they can't detect it. But now they have like random testing as well, right? You have to sign up for it. It's not compulsory. Ah, in wait, in which sport though? No? Uh, I know in boxing it's not compulsory. Really? You have to sign up for it. You have to volunteer for it. Uh, UFC the same. No, but uh, Olympics the same. But they only they, they only start testing you once it's very very close to the but 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 there's a stipulation oh, right but. your opponent can request that you have to have the the testing in order for the fight to occur oh then random it, testing yeah then it becomes uh, uh then it becomes yes yes but but you see even then three. like you look at Floyd Mayweather mm. he he announced his fight which is in August twenty six yeah. against McGregor right he announced it in like June yeah. And that's about 10 weeks mm. to the fight. So, testing can only be done within this 10 weeks. Yep. Testing only starts once he announces the fight. Uh-huh. He's not doing out-of-competition testing. So, oh. it's fine. Okay. So, he has stipulated that, yes, McGregor and himself, both of them would be tested, but cycle might be he might have cycled off already. True, true. <laughs> Dude, I, I think most people don't know this. Like, in, maybe in Singapore, people don't know this, but... You know the May the Mayweather Pacquiao fight. Yeah. Do you know that Mayweather actually got caught taking an IV drip at his house after the weigh in for the fight? Wow. So they engaged this uh, organization called USADA, so it's United States Anti Doping Agency. It's not a government agency; they just have the name United States in there. Yeah. Right. USADA. Yeah, USADA. So the I- the guy comes in and he sees that Floyd is receiving a IV. Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Right, and it's seven hundred. I think he he took in about seven hundred plus milliliters or more than that, more than that of IV. Holy shit! Right, yeah. and what they said to him, well, the the USADA agent was that, oh, it's uh, vitamins and uh, saline. Yeah. So it's just uh, replenishing his electrolytes and stuff like that. Mm. Like what? So his job was to go and tell to the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the the commission that's hosting the the fight. In in Las Vegas, that this guy has took some IVs, which is illegal. Yeah. Maximum that you can give is fifty ml, and it has to be administered to you in a hospital. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Nothing was done. So he replenished himself with seven hundred and fifty ml of IV, which is 
750, 700 ml more than what is allowed. Yeah. Not in a hospital, at his own home. Mm. And he Not fought the next day. Nothing was done. And Manny Pacquiao could not even get a cortisone shot for his... Uh, injured shoulder. Injured shoulder. Uh, r- uh, rotator. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, shoulder blade. Rotator. Rotator cuff. And dirty. Th- uh, yeah, that was dirty as shit. And then, like, a couple of weeks later, like, when this story broke, yeah, then they interviewed the director of Nevada State Athletic Commission, this guy called Bob Bennett, and they was like, he was like, no, no fur- further action will be taken. Like, what? How much money was he being paid? Dude, shit loads of money. Shit loads of money. In some back room alley or something. Yeah. In some bar, CD bar underground. You see, but the, the good <laughs> the thing is that you can't bet on uh, combat sports in Singapore, so Pro- no, no problems. No problem. <laughs> but those people who place bets, they oh. would know this kind of oh, shit, right? Oh, dude, they would, they would be fuming, but they can't do anything about it. It's a dirty wall, man. It's a dirty wall. Speaking of dirty, uh, Sean, have you been a dirty boy recently? I went one of those, like, uh, uh, you know what Tiao Hua is? Yeah, uh, like drop flower in English. Yeah, it's a direct flower, translation. Yeah, drop flower. Those drop flower places. Just drop flower places. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like a Thai disco. Yeah, but not all the girls are from Thailand, right? No, like Taiwan and Korea. Yeah. And 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 and, and wow. Okay, like, it's not wow like like if you go to, like one of those daddy bars in foreign countries, uh, but it's a wow in Singapore level. Mm. Wow, and the stuff you go in, and it's like all these like really nice looking girls, but they are quite plastic, lah. Not Basically. all though, not, not all. all. Though. No. Yeah, but you can see like I mean plastic in the sense that they have like tons of makeup in their face. No, no, no they they are there to earn money. Yeah, act- yeah. actual yeah. plastic surgery. <laughs> <and> <laughs> plastic all that. surgery. Plastic yeah, surgery. Yeah. But okay, but the but the um the thing about these kind of places is that the 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 lighting is always very low and very dim. Yeah. So you can't really tell how much you're plastic not supposed they to. Have. Yeah, until no, I only went like. Twice, but man, can they get you to spend your money? They just drag you in. No, 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 no. They, they come down. They 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 come down and then they join you at the table. If you don't know, like me, if you don't know, you do, you you didn't know, you can actually wave them away. Right. So I didn't know. So I just let the 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 girl sit down. Okay, but but here's the thing, Sean. Mm. Do you want to do you want to wave them away though? Here's the important question. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> not not not. It's not that easy, like because so you knew that you would get nothing out of this. Yeah, it's nothing, nothing. You'll get nothing, nothing, no, and all thing. So okay, but no, they sit next to you. They're supposed to like play games to you and all that. But so uh, yeah, no, but I was, games, I, like, I was like busy. On, I'm not busy on my phone. A- like anything that. that would benefit the joint. Yeah. Mm. So if if you're gonna drink more, you're gonna buy more. Exactly. Mm, correct. Right? So that's what yeah. they wanted you to do. So I was trying to avoid that kind of thing. I also needed to see what the place was like. Yeah. But. There's the kicker. So this girl joins you. She plays games with all your friends and everything. And then there are a few girls. Lah. But at one point in time, they will go up on stage. And not to perform. They're just going up there and just stand there and stare out into the crowd while music is playing. Because they want you to, to put the garland on them. Right. And I didn't know that like this the would happen. Yeah, Spend the money sash. for the, the yeah. sash. So they'll stand up there and all of them are like have, they have this like uh, sad look, solemn look on their face. And then you turn back and you look. <laughs> I was like, that girl spent time <laughs> here. You now <laughs> look at her. She's all sad. She's beg, literally begging. Like almost. There's sort of late. There's this lady come out. Come, uh, she'll come around. Excuse me. Oh wait, I I should rephrase that. Begging with their eyes. Uh, yeah, with that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Not 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 literally begging. No, 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 begging no. with their eyes. Yeah, so oh. it, it poor thing up there. So the lady will come around holding like uh flower garlands and the one with numbers on them. Those are the high roller mm-hmm. ones. Yeah. She asked. Why not? Why not? Because they were like they, <laughs> they, they were, they will look. You know, they'll know which girl went to your table. And they say, oh, why, why not? Why not? Why not? Now yeah, I was strong. Okay, the girl was at our table. Right. I was strong. They asked me one time. I say no once. Cause she was still there. Then I turned around. I saw them go up on stage. And I was like, so the lady came back again. Asked me twice. I said no. Then it came the time for them to go up on stage. So we went up on stage. I turned around. I saw her face. Lady well, came out, came back one more time. Come on, don't like that lah. One more time, that's it. I was like, okay lor. At, at at this point, was she like staring right into your eyes? Mm, she's staring into the crowd, like solemn and dead. So like, oh, Lord save her soul with fifty dollars. 
<laughs> okay, but at least was the banter good? Like, did she like no I banter? I, I did no not banter, talk to her. I'm pretty sure. She did not. No, what? I really? avoided contact because I didn't want to do this kind of thing. I thought. I thought. If then why did you part with fifty dollars? Yeah, why do you pay fifty dollars? You turn around, you look at her face, and you see whether you want, you cannot. But you know, there was a whole bunch of them out there, and none of them were getting anything. I was like, and she was like, yeah, oh. fuck em. It's like oh. it's part of the job, right? That was my first time, so I didn't know. Right. Mm, but the second, but the second time, when my friend asked me to go again, uh, I was strong. <laughs> 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 I avoided dodge, 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 man. Like you just have to avoid having them sit there. I know th- that I missed the point of going there, but I was there just like hang out with friends. You yeah. know, but if, even if they sit down, and you chat with them. <laughs> no, it's like you can always not buy them. Like yeah, but you yeah, of but yeah. you'll, you'll be a complete bugger. I mean, they they are there to spend time. Uh, they spend their time with you, and they're earning their living, and then you bugger them from the. But it's day. ultimately your choice. Yeah, and if you don't, True. if you don't pay anything, or you don't buy for but them if anything, you, yeah. but if it's, uh, they can just stand up and, and leave. On. Yeah, leave on. Weak yeah. But you wield. you bought you bought drinks in the establishment. Weak. So wield, you know, my will is weak. Yeah, because I had no interest in the girl whatsoever. But my will is weak. But they were. You're I just I trying I to be a no, good, Samarit- good Samaritan. You no, know, like no, no. Actually, the first time I learned my lesson the first time. Oh. So the second time round. Or did you want her soul to be redeemed? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know, man. They, they <laughs> usually speak a foreign language. They don't know what they were like, saying. They were like, thank you and all that. But the sec- but not the second time. But when yeah, the second time we went there, and I realized if another one of the girls, the ones that I found attractive, right? Yeah. If they sat next to me, I'd be broke. Wow. I'd be dead. Wow. W- would you sell your kidney to go back to the place? Sell my kidney. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> be an organ donor and sell my brain. <laughs> Sperm, blood, my whatever. Brain for, for research so they can tell why does this guy crumble so easily. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they'll be asking. What, what does she have to do to get you to part mm, of your money? Just talk. I mean just talk. Just no, talk. What the, no, you can't do anything there. In, in Singapore, it's, 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 d- no, it's, no, it's such no, a way, uh, it's such way they only give you their time. And maybe the way they dress so you get to look at something but you yeah. can't do anything. I, I mean think that's how deprived Singaporeans are. True. No, no. As wait, wait, okay, uh, it's it's not that you can't. Wait, it's that no, no, no. you we, wouldn't want you wouldn't we, we know have, what. We have to like say this right now. Mm-hmm. Whatever we are talking about, I don't think it will be a surprise for any guys who are listening to this. Oh, no, definitely okay. This would be definitely informative not. for women. No, I saw Even women as well. I Most of the girls I talk no, to, no. They, they, they know about like tidy schools and shit. Like no, that. they know about Tie this goes, but <laughs> I don't think they know that it's like you you go there and you do nothing. True. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I think you go there, you 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 will spend money yeah. on on like if you are going to drink, you spend money on drinks, you spend money on the garlands or the sashes or whatever. Yeah. But you will not get any yeah <laughs> single favors no, at the end of the night. It's the company. True. All they all they give you is their company. They, you know, you play and, and it's and not and even and the company. I think uh, there's no, barely any. No, they do come down and they join you. And if they if they like your like banter and they, yeah. they like they like talking to you, what they'll join you for drinks and you'll you'll play games. But that's but it. that that helps them. Yeah, that in, in a like way because you are going to spend more money. You if you yeah. drink faster, you're going to buy more. But that's it, lah. And that's and you can buy them drinks as well, which they can take a cut, no. a direct cut off. They'll take okay. Don't they you, have like you can you can thing? do that, but then yeah. usually they'll drink off the the drinks already at your table, which is smart. Mm. Yeah, no, that that is their first like no they're yeah, that's one of their jobs. But the second job is that they can get a direct cut off the drinks lady you buy drinks. them. Like, yeah, lady, lady drinks. Lady yeah. drinks. Yeah. But I didn't like see specific that. drinks that you buy for them, like they will get a direct cut off that. Didn't see that happen. This yeah. this is like the second time. If I go, if I go like the third time, I'll let you know. I, th- I think the worst that I've seen is is, is in Thailand, like Bangkok, and when, whenever I go there, I like, yeah, with I the heard that team is like I wow. It's like I heard that it's better to go there in comparison. Yeah, I think in comparison is, I think to Singapore, you see like the amount of money that people spend there, just throwing money. Yeah, and like if you go to like a club in in Bangkok, yeah, like those like clubs which try and get people to like spend money this way, yeah, it's like wow, they are everywhere <laughs> trying to get you to spend money. But like I there's this club in Bangkok called Insomnia in Sukhumvit, right? It used to be I I it used to be called Insomnia. M- might have changed its name to Insanity. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of th- it's one <laughs> of the two yeah. So you go in there and they are like podiums mm-hmm. and then there are like girls dancing on the podiums and then you have like the bar staff yeah. working the working the floor and then you've got a, like a VIP area where you have to like buy bottle service to get in there like two bottles or whatever to get in there and then 
the main area is where all the girls on the podiums are. And then you got like freelancers walking in, work like you know, trying to pick working the floor. Yeah, working the floor, trying to pick up the tourists (laughs) over there. So uh, loads of Japanese, Korean, (laughs) Russian tourists. Tourists, like males. Yeah. But all men. All men. All men. But no. If if you see women in there, most likely they are they are freelancers or they're working. (laughs) Oh right. Yeah. I thought it'd be like, you know. I remember like few times when we were there, then we were like why why are the women so friendly here? Yeah, <laughs> like you know, they they are like asking where you're from and all like they are working, they're working. Yeah, they are working. They are working. And then they are like, Oh, six thousand for the night, <laughs> six thousand baht. They're like, What? Six thousand no, 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 baht? You, you, you baht is how much? Like divide by twenty five, right? Yeah. No, one one so twenty five. Divide by twenty five. Like, for the night. And you are like, Wow. That's two hundred and forty dollars for the night. Yikes. For the night. <laughs> and I think yeah. the implication is that she would stay with you till the morning. Till the morning, yeah. Really? yeah. Long time. Long, long time. time. Love you long, long time. time, yeah. You just take her out for lunch, huh? Oh, dinner, D- dinner. No, you don't, you don't <laughs> take girls out for lunch that you pay $240 a night for. You, you do know, if you're, you're nice. <laughs> Dude, what the... <laughs> no, but, okay, you see, nice that, or that, dumb. Is, that is Thailand, the, the Asian capital of sex tourism. Yeah. yeah. So, you do that there, you get a different deal, naturally, compared to Singapore. No, in Singapore, you get nothing, but people yeah. are spending so much oh, money there. Like no. the Indian version as well. The Indian version of mm. uh, this, all these Thai discos. Yeah, it's the same thing. You get nothing. I think the drinks are all way more expensive than like normal bars and pubs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's probably marked up because of the girls' cut as well. Yes. Yeah. And you, you know, I, you see the men tipping them. Yeah. That goes into a box. They don't keep the money. They it don't goes keep into the money. a box. Okay. So it's split among all the girls. Yeah. You know, it goes what? to the joint. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Th- that's a bit that's a bit not fair. Yeah, it's like not. If, if I want to tip a girl, I want her to get the money, right? Because she's the one who's yeah, but pretty you know, full in my eyes. The house makes the rules. Yeah, True. the house makes right? rules. True. Rules are meant to be broken. But I and kidding. from what I've heard, like I've heard from like a couple of people and they've said that the how these women come in is that um, the owners or whoever the owners send from here, they go to India and they find women who want to come and work here and they bring them in under a visa, like a dancer, entertainer, right? So they spend the money for the visa. Mm. When when these girls come in, like you, they get their passports confiscated. confiscated. Wait, that happens here? Yeah, from what I've heard. Mm. And after that, you work your way to pay back whatever you owe the joint. Wow. So your visa costs, your wha- whatever flight costs. Do uh, do any of the girls make a profit? R- I, I don't think they make a profit for like the first few months, no? Right. Yeah. But uh, their lodging mm. is paid for. Uh, I think food is paid for. Hmm. Right, but this is not n- not taking into account like those kind of cus- loyal customers that come and see them and take I them out. I for don't the night. think. I, uh, yeah, there have been a couple of men who have like gone down that path. Yeah, they, what, they splurge on them. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they splurge on these women. Like they take their numbers and they're like, oh, you know, I let's hang out again. Like, yeah, no, yeah. they can do that. Let me get you gifts and stuff like that. But it's always ended up in a wrong, uh, like a uh, bad way. Yeah. The, the always. Th- then the, the the Thai one is about the same, uh, but it was always about name. Like you know who is the highest bidder. Sometimes sometimes it's just about like making exactly that. like what 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 the fuck does that even do for you? For the guys. Uh, no, uh, does it get them? Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Oh yes, I have that to did it for I me. have to tell you that the demographics there are all rich. Oh yeah. The rich guys to just throw their money. No, it's it's either they are rich or they s- or they. I don't know where they're getting their money from or like whatever I money they have. I do not know because the amount of money that, that, no, that, that dude, you see thrown up there, right? It's, like it's ridiculous. Really rich people, they don't do this kind of shit. I mean, yeah, okay, these are, these are, these are, what you call it? The pseudo rich. Mm. But the amount of money they throw up there is ridiculous. Insane, yeah. 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 I, I've been in a place where um that we have these two tables fighting for like the same girl. Uh, then they yeah they start bidding like the bidding war. It's like oh, she have like close to 10,000 on the Wow. Body. Yikes. Not it's pretty crazy. It becomes like an ego thing. Yeah. It you know, is, when you're like is, two tables fighting. But, like but at the end of the day, the joint is like, make, fuck, yeah, yeah. minting money. They would, they would, that's why they, they invest like party poppers or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. You have to let people know. You have to bomb, but jump, bomb, bomb. Yeah, that's why clubs, uh, they invest in like sparklers. Yeah, when, when you, you buy, buy like a champagne, you buy a, like yeah, that, you right? buy a magnum of like a magnum bottle of champagne or like a vodka or whatever, like fucking carrying. Yeah, that shit. Yeah. So that people can people see. People see that you know you're that spending you're money. Yeah. Oh, like who's that? Why is that guy spending money? Uh, I, w- I, w- I want to do the same. I yeah? want to do the same. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a psychological kind of thing. And then yeah. when you and when you go home and you cry, all you have is <laughs> a, all not you even <laughs> you hang yourself in the put in the toilet. All you have is a, all you have is a burnt sparkler. <laughs> you use your, your you use your tie <laughs> necktie. <laughs> yeah, tied tied to the ventilator. There goes my paycheck for the night. For the night. <laughs> yeah, so that's your for that's the month, that's for that's the month. That's Sorry, yeah. That's that's month. If you're getting paid by the night, I don't know what <laughs> job you're doing. <laughs> I mean, just I mean, <laughs> you're trying to correct yourself, but yeah, no. Two beers got to right me. Now. Two beers got to me. Talking about Thai girls and oh no, but you know what I was it. like saying about the yeah the same thing. It's the same thing. I'm pretty sure the the Thai discos and the these Indian dance club they operate in the same manner. Yeah, right? definitely. There, there's this like Hindi movie called Chani Bar. Which like mm. dip, depicts this like in India is the uh-huh. same setup like Seems they do the same thing. They are all dancing on a stage and then you know men tip them. They come down, they take your tip and they walk back. And it's a brilliant film, <laughs> brilliant film. M- must watch. The it only thing dif- difference b- between them and strippers is that they don't strip. Yeah, that's about it, right? Yeah. No, yeah. no. And, they and strippers give lap mm-hmm. dances. Yeah. True. True. And you're not allowed to. T- you are not allowed to touch them. Anything. I, I mean, for strippers, it's a clean, yeah. clean thing. Yeah, in Singapore it's all clean. Even this one side, as yeah, I said, you, clean. you only pay for if you like. B- you give them the garland, then it's up to them. Like you give fifty, but the next guy gives a hundred, and then they'll go to the hundred guys table. No, and no, like she'll she'll come down to you, but for a while, la, then yeah, she'll, then go she'll move 100. on to the hundred. Hundred, yeah, makes but sense. She, but but they will show their gratitude, and that's what I think. Maybe some of the guys are going for, so they they they're, they're going there for the company. True, but that's like he said, all you get. Sadly, just that's just all the company. you get. That's all you get. Yeah, company. For anyone who's looking for more, sadly for you, no. No, buddy. Go home. Unless you keep spending more on it. Every, no, every yeah. person's surprised. No, but y- y- no. you see... Yeah, I think no, I think no, they no. can't do it because they want to keep it. No, uh, no, no. no, no. Like every girl is surprised. <laughs> Sorry, not every girl. Every oh. human being oh, is surprised. No, so no, you no, want no. to you rephrase every, yeah. that? Every human being is surprised. Oh, yeah. What's that's yours? True. That's true. What's your yeah. price? My price? Uh-huh. Um... Right now, mm. half a million. Well now, yeah. right now, half a million. Half a million to only? turn gay. Turn wha- yeah, that is very specific. To yeah. turn gay, half to a turn million. Gay. Half a million to turn gay. Yeah, I meant how much would it be for a girl to pay you? Yeah, he. he why did you pay, pay why me did to you do what? Immediate, immediately go for the for the dong dong, huh? <laughs> Wait, pay me to do what? To have Whatever. Yeah, you say everybody has a price. Yeah, so price. So go pay me to. I assumed it was gender. Buy you as a slave, yeah, maybe. Buy you as a slave. slave for how long though? A day. A day. Mm-hmm. Two hundred fifty thousand. Still two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. I thought no, you'd no say one free. Gonna, I no like one is going to pay that. <laughs> I I thought you'd say free. I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> take it, take me take me away. It's like you know. Depends so which girl though. Depends which girl. I was like, now everybody knows your price. Even what's your price? No, I will, I will not go down to that level. You <laughs> see not, you see not. <laughs> 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 you just got deeps. <laughs> deep in him. Deeps. You know, yeah. He's w- he was willing to take someone deep inside of him for 500, 500 For half a million. Yeah, for definitely. half a million dollars, he's yeah. willing to turn gay. Definitely, definitely. Just for, just, but just once though. But you can't turn gay. Like, it's either you're gay or you're not. I mean... Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think so. I think so. Really something else besides my finger on my ass, half a million. We're learning new things about you, <laughs> <laughs> like your finger. Hey, I need the money, man. Your Come on, finger actually goes inside your ass. <laughs> do you even know how to wipe your butt? That's not the way to do <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. It, 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 it. Use a bidet. Yeah, you fucking yeah. It's, it's, it's at, at most, it's supposed to just. But how far uh, do you stick uh, the bidet up? You don't Why would you stick the bidet up? It's a hose. It's a hose. You <laughs> only let the, the water. water. Uh, you the let water. The water. Is that is that how you do it? It's that Damn how it. <laughs> Actually, yeah. No, no I, I try to that's get how I don't most people who use a bidet would do it. No, I try to get deep clean so I, 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 I use it through <laughs> the mouth and then the water will come out that way. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if I if I activate it high and now it's like oh, this like, it's like all the way from inside out. That's how inside I out. that's how I use the the bidet. Is that how you clean your sins? 
No, that one cleans more than my sins, right? <laughs> it Toxins, cleans his colon as well. Toxins, colons, my prostate, my everything. Blood, yeah, <laughs> some uh, I lose a few organs and on the way out and something like that. They'll go <laughs> bah, like okay. So it's a better than sticking your finger up your butt. It gets all dirty. No, but then you then you know that your butt is like completely clean, because all the dirt's on your finger, right? No, you you probably what? just you probably just shove what? the shit back up your your butt. <laughs> yeah, because you're gonna put it back <laughs> in there. Yeah, you gotta put put the sh- your your finger all the way up there and then wow. come back out. I'm like ooh, have you had, you could have done you know something else? You, it's called uh what's that thing called? Enema. Ah, an enema. You don't yeah. even have to use your finger. You just stick water up there and then yeah, water right. comes out. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. but that's you why I do. You have heard of douching? Have you heard yeah. of douching? No, yeah. that's why that's he does what, that's what bidet. women do. That's, that's what, what women what do. the bidet was for. <laughs> yeah. Enema. Phosphor enema. <laughs> 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 so now everybody, if your your house has a bidet, please inform Josiah not to freaking use it. Because you're going to come in and it's going to shit all over the floor <laughs> and everything. Because if, no, I- if, he he if he ever asks, mm. can I use your washroom? Say no. No. Say number one or number two? Say Josie, number there's two. a bidet in there. Do not go anywhere <laughs> close to it. Yes. Do not put the your toilet roll. Do not put it in your ass. Yes. And then don't shake his freaking hand. Because yeah. his finger's been <laughs> Before places. the bidet, the finger will yeah, be Yeah, the there. finger will be there. It's like, no. <laughs> no. When he comes out, the, 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 the toilet just... Make sure you watch where your hand, where where your hands, his hands go. Just, just watch. My God, I shook his hand just now. <laughs> Shit. Like which came oh no. first? Was it the bidet? And then when <laughs> the lack of the bidet, you no, know, it's like it's not there. Then do you stick your finger out to to replace? No, he always starts with the finger. He always starts with yeah, the finger. Yeah, like to when I'm cons- easy, constipated, mm-hmm. sometimes the finger helps. Some sometimes digging it up. Yeah, digging it up, and then massaging the prostate, and then he gets it out. Gets okay when you massage the prostate. I don't, I don't think that's what the sh- <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that conjures the shit. So yeah, the purpose of that is not. Yeah, it's something else. It's to it's to it's to exercise uh, the prostate. Yeah, it's for healthy male. Mm. So they don't get prostate cancer. Prostate yeah, cancer. Th- that's what I read before. Yeah, read online. Not is sure which <laughs> website it is, but is that how it started? The whole things obs- things I read online. Things are so the online medical benefits of <laughs> massaging the prostate. WebMD is what? it? <laughs> 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 you went to WebMD yeah. is it? WebMD. <laughs> WebMD. I I don't think they told you that. I think usually they was like and uh, usually it ends up with you thinking you have colon cancer and then yeah yeah you you search normal things like I haven't been cheating for four days. Oh. Stick a thumb up your ass. Yeah, stick a thumb All up right, your I'll ass. If you feel a lump, you've got colon cancer. <laughs> then you go to the doctor. It's like what? That lump is your prostate, you fool. You don't even know whether real doctors write WebMD. How yeah. are you going like, to know? Yeah, it's not really 100%. It's kind of suspicious when every symptoms I type into the... the you're going to die. Yeah. Please do, you're going to die. Somehow, somehow, one of the symptoms will Death. fall into one of the, the things like, oh, you can't cancer, 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 cancer. Everything needs Everything to cancer. Everything's cancerous, yeah. So coming up next week is a pretty big event and in uh, Hong Lin Corner. Yeah. yeah. And LGBT. Uh, yeah, L- LGBT. But there's now three new letters at the back. LGBTQ. Oh, three new letters. Yeah. QIA. I. I think the I is being added to the yeah. end of what that. What does it mean? Q I A. What does Q I A? Q. I think I is like intersexual. Q is um queer. Yeah. A is asexual. And I is like intersexual. Oh, so A it A is for one who's not sexual at all, like not attracted any gender. Then Q mm. is well, Q is actually just a derogatory term, right? Or maybe uh, not not amongst them, like if they call each other queer. Is queer. it queer? I thought they frowned upon being called queer. Uh, well, I'm not really sure though. Mm. But I mean, if it's in the, you know, the term, then it shouldn't should be alright. What's no, intersexual? No, no, no. Intersexual. You mean someone who switch? Uh, uh, someone who feels that they're like male and female at the same time. Intersexual. Uh, That's yeah. Male and female at the same time. Oh, okay. No, um, it is getting confusing. That has to be said. Well, anyways, what about it? Are you guys going? No. <laughs> 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 no, I think I think it'd be it'd be cool to go down and take a look. To support. Yeah. Pink dot. And like, find some lesbians who you want to turn to become bi. I knew, I knew, I knew that was his intention. I was like, you know, trying to get it out from him. Go there instead. <laughs> Instead of the moral moral <laughs> reasons for for showing your support, for just the, like that you trying to pick up a girl at an abortion ra- rally, right? Oh, you oh sick puppy. Ne- never thought about that. <laughs> no wait, but no, but the whole the whole controversy about um, scene leisure. 
when they put up the poster. Mm-hmm. Um, oh like yeah, in support yeah. Of, like, I think that was not the yes. first controversy or the first uh, talking no, they, point they about Pink Dot. No, no. Before even before that, oh. I think now only Singaporeans or and PR and PR yeah. are allowed to um, participate participate in Pink Dot. No, actually, last year because a lot of foreign companies invested. Yeah, uh, I think JP sponsored. Morgan, uh, Facebook, Citibank. Google as well. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And then after the event, I think the government kind of said like only local companies can support and locals can locals and PR can, can participate. Can, can, can participate. participate. Mm. But every year is increasing though. Yeah, it has be, it has been increasing. But like it, it's it's to show support, right? It's not just for them to go. It's like yeah, yeah. Support, I'm pretty like sure there are loads of people. So like go there and say like you know we 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 support your your cause your cause to fight for rights. It's it's to fight for their rights, right? The pink dot. Yeah. That's yeah. for that for them to be treated equally in the ter- in terms of laws and all that. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you can't get married if you're yeah, no, if not, you're gay. Not, not in Singapore. Not in Singapore. They yeah. Don't allow you, but I mean, Zealand technically, it's illegal. New Zealand and Australia allows yeah. it, right? Yeah, Australia. Australia allows it. No, no, no. Gay yeah. marriage is New not. Z- New Zealand no. allows it. New Zealand yeah. allows it. New Zealand allows it. Canada allows it. Canada allows it. it. Yeah. They call it a partnership, or is it? Ma- it's a marriage, but S- it's a um, civil partnership. Civil I think part- it, no. In New Zealand, you can get married. Married, yeah. Married, married. Yeah. Married. So over here, they're trying to fight for that, right? Not yes. Uh, uh, no, not not, not in, marriage. In, in, in loads in loads of places, they are trying to. That is one of the angles. Yeah. They are trying to fight for that. They are trying to fight for um, equal opportunity when it comes to like w- jobs. Yeah. Well, the jobs things that one's okay and all that, but the right to get married that one's pretty sensitive. Why? Well, because of marriage rights were some religions hold it quite sacred. No, but you don't have to get married in a like church. Like in a church, no, yeah. I mean yeah. legally married. La, legally so married. Yeah, so so the state, state recognizes that you I are mean married. I mean, if it's state one, I think it should be all right. As long as because I don't think. But I, I think it will. It will take. Time. Some time, yeah, for Singapore time. to yeah, probably to, to because if you are you're asking a church to do it, I don't think no. No, I I think that that is they won't be able to do it going pretty far. Yeah, yeah, Th- because you know whether you're a Catholic church or you're a Protestant church or whichever denomination you are, you would have like deep seating like beliefs like true. saying that oh no because but they have to keep true to their own like 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 uh, teachings or if they allow it then it yeah. it destroys their foundation. Uh sense. well that's a t- topic for a different day but uh there's no it's uh, yeah it's up to the church to discuss and come to yeah. their own like conclusion yeah, whether yeah. they should change or not Th- that's up to them but there's 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 a church in Singapore where the only gay church so called in Singapore yeah there is one uh not 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 quite not quite a big church maybe like f- fifty to hundred like uh in size congregation huh. but they're the openly gay church that says that you know like homosexuality is okay. Yeah, the only one in Singapore. Yeah, yeah I've I've, I've well a couple of friends who who attended. Yeah. Well, what is your the support like? Like, do other churches no even like acknowledge pre- their existence? Pretty much, they're like no. ostracized. Ostracized. Yeah. yeah. Openly gay church. Like who openly support like homosexuality. Oh, yeah. Support yeah. them. Uh, yeah, it's and do not condemn like homosexual. It's a, it's a step for them. Uh, it's a step to come out and openly. No, I think it's it's quite stigmatized. Like, even like. In Hinduism, it's mm. it's not a problem mm. at all. Homosexuality, oh. yeah, it's not. But it's a problem within society, definitely. You mean in that like Hindu teaching? In yeah, 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 all right. Yeah, it's not a problem at all. Like even the third gender, that's also a thing. Mm. It's like there's a god. Mm-hmm. There's oh. like two gods together who procreated another god, and oh they're actually yeah. like both uh, males and one male god. Uh, became female to procreate an uh oh another yeah, one. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so it's like within like the folklore and shit like that yeah it exists yeah so I think I- Indians are like Indians who are Hindus I think they are more open to this open idea. to it yeah but I'm not sure how open would they be if their if their son is uh mm. is gay mm. or if if their daughter is lesbian gay or anything like that. Um, I think I uh, I think that is uh, up uh, down to the individual. Yeah. Some of them are cool, some of them are not. You know, but you know, I actually like a couple of years ago, I thought that Singapore should legalize gay marriage. Like you know, we would have the support if if it goes down to a vote. Mm-hmm. Like if you like put up a referendum and mm. you know let's vote. I actually thought that we would get it passed. Yeah. And then I had this huge argument with a friend from uni, and he was like, "No, it, w- it will not." 
it will not get passed. It will not get passed. We are still a very conservative society. The yeah, older generation will not will not agree with it. Yeah. And give give like me a few years. After that, and I was like, yeah, as I saw what was happening, like w- one someone that we know from Poly, mm. like he uploaded on Facebook, not from our class, oh okay. another class. He he uploaded on Facebook saying that you know we will be protesting the pink dot wearing white, <laughs> wear white, wearing white. Uh, I I know where that Audrey ended from, yeah, from a from a from a church. Yeah, wear white. Yeah, what? From to a church symbolize, to symbolize purity. Yeah. Purity. Yeah. Ah. And uh, yeah. and I was like, wow, this guy is our age, mm. like you know, and just yeah, okay, it's Christian beliefs, but don't you see that it also affects other people? Like that uh, that was my initial thought, mm. and then after that, I was like, as I saw like more people like coming out and saying that yeah you know pink dot is not a good thing and i was like wow yeah singapore is really not <laughs> not, not ready yet. not ready for this but actually if you look at it this way if people have the right to wear pink to in in the speaker's corner mm. then you have to give people the opportunity to, to of course to you do pro- well, to yeah, protest yeah, yeah. as well yeah, wear yeah. white it's just that you can be like yeah you're kind of a dick to wear white yeah no but it, the thing is you what i was thinking at that time itself mm. was like they are coming to the speaker's corner to, you know, air out their grievances. Like, yeah. You know, we have been ostracized in certain in certain aspects of the society. You know, we are trying to fight for our rights. And then you guys are here saying that, you know, we are <laughs> we are sinning <laughs> you know, God hates us. Or yeah. you know, if you know, if it goes into that sphere of of a protest, yeah. then it's like, wow, you know, you're doing something which is wrong. God will not forgive you for this. Then it's counterproductive. It's exactly. just like you're not even listening to what they have to say. Yeah. You're just saying that, you know, you're sinning. Yeah. Or you're, you yeah. know, God hates you or whatever. Like, uh. that's not counterproductive. If you're going to sit down there and discuss with a scientist, you know, yeah. saying that, you know, the gayness or, you know, the the tendency to be a homosexual or everything, it comes from birth. It's genetic or, yeah. you know, that's how it comes. It's, n- it's not that you no get transformed. There is. There, there, there is there a gay there's gene. That, that there's no nobody that will do that. That 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 plays. I don't know whether that it will happen in Singapore, but it has happened so everywhere else. You know, sci- our science is proved that just to talk only. I think talk yeah. They they yeah. Do, they don't hold debates there. They ju- they no, just no, it's not even that. You don't even need that. But would we have? A, would we ever have a, like a televised debate? Probably not, o- not so soon. About this, not, not so, so soon. soon. Yeah. yeah, not so soon. Ho- hopefully, hopefully in the near future. Yeah. Near election month. <laughs> no, that will never happen. <laughs> it will never happen in <laughs> election <laughs> month. That would be the best. Why? Why would they No, because then all the, 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 the PAP is all wearing white, right? so you know. <laughs> and then you wear pink. Yeah, and then they, they have to wear pink. Then like, hey, PAP, you wear pink. No, but uh, luckily, I th- I feel in Singapore, it's the the LGBTQIA. Mm. Mm. Well, I got it right. Uh, yeah. I but think I think they've still got their agendas like on point. They're yeah. still going towards stuff that really matters and not like outlandish shit like uh, what is happening in Canada and some parts of America as well yeah some parts of America in uh, yeah. uh, in UK and Australia it's Australia as I well I think Australia is not that bad not that bad right Australia is not that bad yeah but if you uh, whenever you go to uh, uni campus you <laughs> you'll see the full blown uh, in Australia as well yeah what like my uni we had like a uh, safe spaces. like a festival day like uh, every um, Thursday, yeah, like you have all the clubs and like you have, they will have like set up tables in like the center of uni and you can go and talk to them. They have like politics. There's a communist club. There's like communist LGBT club. rights. There's every uh, Singapore society, Malaysia student society, right. everything. And you'll see people arguing outside, like near the library in my uni. Like, oh, you know, they should, uh, very very political, right mm. in uni. But that's the thing. That's that's the place to be political. That's the place where you discuss and ideas, argue. Yeah. yeah, you discuss, discuss ideas, you argue. Discuss is the correct word there. Discuss. Yeah. Because Instead of like like fight. Mm. And and just like say, oh, no, no, no. Whatever you're saying, it's it's all bullshit. Yeah. If you're going to say that, you, you need to have some evidence and... True. Yeah. But, yeah, I hope Pink Dot, you know, they get some good support this year. Since yeah. they can't get any PR or <laughs> hey, uh, any uh, foreigners <laughs> coming down. Well, the only other ones are the celebrities here. La. They can probably add their voices yeah. to that thing. But I think celebra- most celebrities are staying out of the spotlight. It's quite well, it, dip- it depends. Like, you know, there are some openly, w- openly gay ones, right? Yeah, but 
they can open they no openly I don't Kuma is definitely one yeah yeah definitely one but the rest I think because uh, it's still quite a hot topic maybe in Singapore so they're just not wanting to attract unwanted attention yeah I mean, yeah. This is for a better. I mean, it's for a cause, la. So it's yeah. attracting attention. That's what they want. They want to pull people's eyes there, and you know, educate. But uh, I would say educate, but I'm not. I I think uh, we are not. We are. They are not doing enough to educate the locals. Uh, that's what. That's what I feel. I feel that it's 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 going to be like a highlight thing. Oh, there's been a huge uh, gathering in mm. Singapore, and. Like international media is going to talk about it more than Singaporean media. Oh yeah, definitely. Singapore yeah. media is like controlled, no, no. Right? Singapore media would say that you know, oh, uh, this 20, so much so, so 20, much people, people yeah. or you know whatever twenty thousand people, twenty five thousand people gathered just stating the facts and all at this. Hong Lim Park, yeah, for yeah. the pink, uh, annual Ping Dot gathering. Uh, that, that that's what is going to be said. But f- you know, like international media, they would, oh you know the increased presence and all the LGBT community yeah. within Singapore is up up in arms trying to get rights yeah, from their. More? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like all the conservative Singapore, no more. It's like we have to evolve, though. Yeah, like like Taiwan, it, right? But it's gonna take time. Mm. It's gonna take a very very long time. True. Maybe in our generation. No. Oh, uh, not in our generation. Not in our generation. Maybe what? the next the next few. Maybe ma- okay. Maybe the when you're forties nah. in our forties. Dude, there are, there are people in our generation who are equally like. I, I, I want to say bigoted, but. No, uh, it's not. That's not a good. Um, word. Uh, brainwash. I think brainwash. Yeah, brainwash. Yeah, pretty brainwashed good. Brainwash more like single-minded. Uh, maybe, maybe just how that's how they w- they were taught. That's how they were. That's a so-called. That's a values. You know when you that's brought up. That's not a value, people, man. People, <laughs> people give you values. How it. That, that's how why I said. Uh, how that's how why you said bra- brainwashed. Brainwash, brainwashed. Yeah. yeah. Religious brainwash. Religious brainwash. Maybe. This yeah. is a bit harsh. La. We'll just say. Uh, we'll just say that it's probably. A non-understanding, non-understanding. Yeah, it's like it's like yeah, not been yeah, brainwashed. Yeah, that's it's just fair. Been, they haven't yeah, been exposed to yeah. both, like both. Facts. No one's out there to purposely brainwash the person who's saying it, right? No, I think purposefully. I think purposeful brainwash brainwashing is actually a thing. Yeah, but not here. I think it's more like everywhere. The, the church is promoting values, like whole values that they think make uh yeah, make them better than other people. But they're they're speaking make from them right. their own stuff, like They're not speaking with agenda to like you know. Purposely cr- twist your yeah, mind. Yeah, but they have an agenda, right? They have the agenda as as in if you don't believe what I'm saying, uh, if you don't believe these certain commandments, then you are sinning and you're and you're on the other side of the well, fence. I hope not. I and everyone else, I like following th- these commandments, are on this side of the fence. I haven't gone to church. So that th- that's the that's the edit agenda, right? For um, al- almost a- any religion. No, I I usually assume that most l- religions are out there to preach you uh, preach to you to be a good person. Yeah. I mean, on the surface, but if you go like right. deep into like, but if a, but if a, a church ever comes out and says like, if you see a homosexual on the street, stone him, then no, that's not that's not preaching good values. At a certain point in history, that that was a yeah, case. that that was what yeah, being that was what that was that, that was when w- that, w- that was when it was like brutal, and now 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 that's why I think it's much more w- more enlightened. To certain I mean, dude, you can yeah. you can take certain parts of the Bible and you can use it to justify slavery. Right. Like if you m- like misquote certain parts of the Bible, you can use yeah. it to justify slavery. But that's why it's like we were raised. I mean, I was but raised to like you know, I wasn't raised to. I didn't know about the the homosexuality in 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 church or anything or any of these places. Mm. I think I learned it outside, like from. Of course, the church is not going to put their hands up and say that you know, fuck, we, no, we are doing this shit. That's what yeah. I meant. Yeah. Like my when I went to church, they didn't openly like tell me like it's uh, wrong or it's like what it's. I I don't remember my church telling me that was wrong. I think they just preach other stuff to be good, you know, to be kind, good, right. and all this kind of thing. And I thought that was that's okay. I don't know when all this started when they openly come out and say, hey, this is all you know. Uh, God yeah. will punish you. Send lightning down. Beep, 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 beep. Hit your HDB. It's like no light, no power. Something I like that. I, no? I have I have heard some stuff like that, but not that extreme. But like somewhere along those lines. The what's that church in America called? Westboro Baptist. Ah, West Bo- Bo- Westboro Baptist. So far, Westboro Baptist. Oh yeah, that was that is like they, extreme. They are like the extreme. No, they yeah, they are extreme. the ones that don't deserve any kind of like you know. Publication or any kind of promotion or whatsoever, because they're just 
full of nonsense. Uh. That's <laughs> that's the one. Yeah, you can call that one brainwashing. Downright, no, that is just hate. Yeah, that's just hate. Hate. No, you you know we are like now we are just like glossing over brainwashing. Is there are different levels no, to no, it? No, mm. that one's different. That one's yeah, really like, it's like the ones. That's just hate. Pure up dude. They hate. they don't even like Justin Bieber, <laughs> <laughs> right? So that that's just a different like oh, entire level of hatred. Why do why do why do they like Justin Bieber? Oh, he's doing Satan's work. Ooh, yeah. Because of ungodly music? Yes. Is I think even Hill songs might be Satan's work. <laughs> <laughs> Fool to them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, making money, so much money off uh, yeah, the music. Uh, capitalism? Uh, no. No, no. No, terrible. you're doing the devil's work. The devil. You have to be poor. The devil. No, you don't have to be poor. Just be a redneck. <laughs> exactly. True. True. You don't Mary have to be cousin. poor. You don't have to be rich. You just have to be them. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not them, if you're not white, and you're not southern, and you're then you are. Okay, that's where that's and where you're not a lumberjack. Wow. <laughs> that's why why I said no <laughs> values. That's where mm. they that's where they twist and corrupt it. The word that that whole thing they they ship it off as values. Something like that, right? Yeah. They ship their hate their hate off as wholesome values. But what I meant is like when someone tells no, you. No, uh, the the problem is that people 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 come up and say that. They know what God said. Oh. That mm. that is a that is the main issue. That is the main problem. Yeah. When people come and say that, oh, I know what God said. God said that this is right. This, this is, what is wrong. Blah blah blah. Yeah. yeah. That is a problem. Mm. Because you've got all the main established religions, which most of the religions are working towards peace. Yeah, true. Yeah. They all you know, humans want to coexist with each other, they want Live yeah, their own that's life. That's what it should be doing. <laughs> yes. Religion is meant to bind the people together, make them stronger as one. Um, if you're in the same religion, though. No, that's the, that's the thing. Yeah. Right? Like if yeah, if you're same religion. I think Buddhism, the rest of them don't preach against other. Like, no, this is the only one. You know. No, I think the religion itself does not do that. Yeah. But uh, mono, cri- mono, oh, yeah. Yeah. monotheism. That's different. Monotheism, but, yeah. but, the thing is that it's exasperated by people doing that. Yeah. Like. They so they tend to like say that oh no 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 ours is the truth. <laughs> there's there's no other way for shit to happen. That that's a problem. That but is the main problem. You can also say that the people who say this are reading it off the text, right? Like it's there in the text saying that yeah, because it's this meant is to the be only way. It's meant to be you know, uh, interpreted in whatever way you want. It's very old words. Yeah. It's uh, th- I mean they, they and you can't get into the mind of the person who wrote it down. Yeah, and even the translation that's, that's and you don't even know as well. who yeah. the person who wrote it down. We don't know. Yeah, the but per- from ancient text to modern language, the translation. Yeah, yeah. you know. So there, there's a lot of there's a lot of like gray, no, not gray areas, like areas to dispute the thing. We can't dispute the whole entire Bible. Mm. I mean, we joke. No, we, you uh, can we question we it. We can yeah, but we joke when we say like the Bible's in d- belongs in the fiction section and all that yeah. kind of stuff, but. <laughs> but no, it's like no, no, yes, no. I, I meant that like joke. It doesn't oh yeah, mean when okay. comedians yeah, so make <laughs> jokes about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I meant like when you say something like that, then you're like, oh. But those words inside, they were written by somebody and interpreted along, you know, the passing of time. Yeah, yeah. But those were very. You have you have to know the time they were written in. Things True. then were much different from things. Yep. How yep. how they evolved now. True. Yeah. Certain ways. Certain. H- Ways they describe certain stuff, right? Mm. Was uh, back then, it made sense. Like I, I can't. You say that's why we need someone who is more, <laughs> who read the Bible, <laughs> to like talk. Like when he says, maybe uh, turn water to wine. Yeah, it sounds very magical and like mystical and what, but we don't actually know what happened there. No, For no. all we know, Jesus could be like ahead of his time, a genius in some way. Then he, you know. Yeah. You, through the use of science, did that. Yeah. So I, th- I don't think like science and religion should clash. I think somehow they can work together and. and I don't. I don't see working together though. Not working together, but like proving, proving a higher existence, but not in such a but way. There's no evidence for higher existence. That's why I say yeah. you can use science as a way to maybe prove that there is a higher existence. Uh, but there's no there's no uh, evidence for higher existence. I mean, there is no ex- evidence against it. We can go one whole round with this uh, 
atheism and and uh, and theism and no, all. No, then you're just trying to prove a negative. No, no, we're mm. not trying to prove a negative. I'm just saying the whole basis for religion is faith, right? Faith, yeah. I- faith is usually when you say faith is you have, you have you believe in something without actual proof, right? A suspension of belief. Yeah. Yeah. What? Suspension of belief. Yeah, it's like faith is that lah. Yeah, but okay, but you you don't you don't apply that suspension of disbelief into any aspect in your life. Like you you take scientific fact for a reason. Like if you know, like gravity for example, mm-hmm. you know that if you jump off a window, you're gonna Correct. go down and die. But why is it when it comes to like religious belief, like in a higher power, suddenly you suspend all scientific belief, scientific belief and say that I need you need in order to have faith to go to heaven to you know be a better person to do this and do that. Yeah, but why is it like when it comes to religion, suddenly everyone else just shuts down on like scientific belief and say that oh, this is where faith comes in, but you, you we do well, not apply that faith anywhere else in our in every part. Well, of our that's life. why I see we can probably blend them two together because you know things written then. I don't know if I'm making sense, but things written then were probably written by guys who are not like modern age. We they've never seen yeah rocket. exactly yeah. they don't see rockets they don't see anything. If they had seen the stuff they see now, w- how would they interpret things differently? Yeah, exactly. So the Bible no. came from a place where, where where they haven't seen all the things that are happening now, but uh, things back then could be so we we can't say what they saw back then as well. Yeah, or we can I mean, no, but no, no. But that's what I was saying earlier on. It's up to the religion to discuss all these kind of things, mm-hmm. and either update themselves, update the ah, religion. That's when you have to up yeah, yeah. Like update or, would be or or they are going to say fuck off. This is the truth. Yeah. Oh no. If you don't believe in this, then you're. Uh, uh, but not sadly, welcome. they can't update. No, I. I no, I. They, no, they, you see, they're not willing to update. No, if they can't update the the religion, the religious text. Dude, if I'm not wrong, if I'm not wrong, uh, most Islamic scholars, in the world, I think the Pope, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, yeah, and the Pope, they have accepted that, uh, evolution. Is okay. the 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 correct theory? That that's a form of update, though. That, that's, that's a form, form of update, yeah, right? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's progress. But but yeah, you see, even though the head of your religion, yeah, who's a pope, says that yeah, we accept that you know evolution is yeah. a fact. It's a it's a fact of life. It happens. How many people are going to accept that? No, I mean yeah. within the religion, within the religion. Yeah. No, but that 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 brings it down to I think what I'm trying to say. I don't know really what I'm trying to say because. Got beer in me, so when the Pope says something like he's accepting the fact of evolution, that's mm. why I'm uh, that's what I'm thinking. Back then, they didn't have Darwin. This is two thousand years ago. Darwin wasn't even born. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so they didn't have this. So they had to they had to form the basis of Adam and Eve and all that. Yeah. No, but you, you but see, that, but that's fine. That's fine. I mean, that's yeah. Cr- uh, creation myth. That is fine. You're correct. So it, it might not be. You know, it's not. Maybe it's not meant to be taken literally. It's not meant to be Adam yes. and Eve and everything. It's metaphorical. Yes, yeah, metaphorical. Yeah. You know, there's a higher meaning towards it. Uh, uh, that's fine. But the problem is there are people now who are still interpreting it literally and yeah. saying that yeah, th- this is the only way. Mm. Th- th- that's the no, thing. I, uh, now I see your point because when they when when the Pope starts saying all this and they and they and they prove like the Bible is written in a certain way to to prove yeah, science, it no longer becomes religion; it's actually scientific fact. But, exactly. but, but, I just want to say but. Yeah. No, but I'm just kidding. But I still like to believe that there is a higher power. Oh yeah, uh, that's completely your you choice, that, man. No, that's, 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 that's the thing. No, I no, but fair. I'd still like to believe that. Like, like what you said. Like, science cannot prove that there is, and science cannot, cannot prove that, that, that there, there isn't, isn't one. Yeah. 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 So, so science would be agnostic on that point. Yeah. Right. True. That that is true. Yeah. Yeah. Even Richard Dawkins was saying that. Yeah. yeah. Correct. I can't prove that there isn't a high power, so I'm mm. agnostic on it. Like, no, and on that point, that's why I, I was like thinking all those arguments for and against, like when when religious people come out and say, "Hey, you can't say this kind of thing," and then the, the scientific or the atheist people go, "Hey, you can't prove this. it's nonsense." I Th- mean, one person can't go to the other and say you can't prove this one, and the other person can't go there and say like, "Yeah." But that's where they mean if they can get past the their own, based th- on your own intellect, when you h- when you listen to both the arguments, you know, you you will tend to lean towards one side. True. And it will be the logical side at uh, most of the time. Of mm. course, I mean the yeah. reli- religious one have they they hardly have any logic. Yeah, any basis. I mean they yeah. quote they quote 
Adam and Eve when you already learned that in order for... Uh, no, I think the, the main crap is with uh, scientific uh, things. Like uh, like uh, gravity, like, you know, last uh, flat earth. Mm. When they said that the earth was flat. And it was proven wrong. <laughs> proven wrong. Yeah. Right? And then same thing with like evolution when you, know, you say that we evolved and then it's like no no you were created and yep. then now it's the big bang <laughs> <laughs> it's when was the earth created when when was the universe created Boom. And yeah it's like no it's a just just don't get the, uh, the when people get so worked up over the arguing of like religious stuff we need because I no I but y- you see um, in Singapore it's it's different mm. religion does not actually intrude into your secular life Singapore is a secular country, actually. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But m- there are many other secular countries where it actually intrudes into your day-to-day life. Like schools. Oh, maybe. Like, you you know, if, you, if you're in a Catholic school or Anglican school, you know, you would have to say the prayer, but what if you're a Muslim or what if you're a Hindu? Then you can, you can excuse yourself. You like. can yeah. excuse yourself, but... Then there's a separate department in your school, which is like for the chaplain or whatever, mm. and you are paying for that. But you are not you're going not to benefit from in that. The you're not partaking. Yeah. That you're not benefiting from that. But you have to pay. Yeah. Same thing with like in England, uh, in in the UK, the yeah. House of Lords. Mm. You've got spaces for for uh, for people from the Church of England. Yeah. Who are not elected, right? They are not elected. They're, They're chosen. chosen. Yeah, yeah, chosen. Yeah, that's chosen the thing. No, not by the people. By their own. By their like own. Yeah, by their representative. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, and you're, you know, now that that's why in Eng- in UK you always have like on BBC Question Time or on the Big Question you always have that argument like whether Eng- uh, England, Scotland, and all these countries whether are they Christian countries or not? Are they now multicultural? Mm. And then you have people who are like, no, it's a Christian country. It's based on Christian values and everything. And then there are people like, no, it's no longer a Christian-only country. It's yeah. multicultural, so it's a secular country. The government has to be secular. And then they're like, no, it's like, uh, luckily in Singapore, no. Uh, multicultural, well, that, multi-religious. That, that, that is the bigger issue. But this is the thing, though. Like people argue against, um, <coughs> against the pink dot, for example. They always bring up the whole idea of religion. Yeah. Like against God and like, oh, this is like wrong. This is a sin. Yeah. But but the end of the day, it's their individual life, right? Yeah. But how does how does this affect your like individual life? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right. And I yeah. And then they're saying, that, oh, you cannot make this legal in Singapore because it's against God's like commandments. But Singapore is a secular country. Uh, exactly. Why do you bring in religion? So yeah. It's just yeah. That, that's probably where where the that problem stems. So I'm not I'm not here to argue for 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 the existence so I, I personally believe there is but the thing is I dislike it when they bring it up and try to try to bring this roundabout argument again you know how yeah. the, like one person tries to dip, disprove the other and the existence of the other yeah correct I believe you, you, it's it's something for you like you said something for you to believe it's your belief yeah and it's perfectly fine just as long as you don't impose that belief yeah. on anyone else um, you do not write laws based on Correct. their belief and you yeah. do not teach it in schools. Correct. Yeah. You yeah. Go no, you can teach about it in schools, but you teach everything. No, you, yeah, you can teach it. You teach everything. Uh, one week, you, teach one week you can teach about Christianity, another week you can no, teach about Islam, uh, uh, another week you can teach I about I Hinduism, mean, you can goes, teach about it goes, uh, Baha'i it goes, religion, yeah, it goes both Sikhism, ways. whatever. It goes both ways. It's like, you one shouldn't impose on the other and the other yeah. shouldn't impose on it. Yeah. So laws can apply. I mean, y- laws apply to everyone, but you don't write no, laws yeah, to based to on to any to any. Religion, yeah. Yeah. Okay, like oh no, for uh, but just to clarify what I mean by teaching in schools, like, that means you don't teach like in a science lesson at like, the beginning of the oh, yeah, started yeah. like oh, no, when yeah, God yeah. created that, that, and that, that, no, 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 no. that doesn't happen. Oh, that's yeah. not scientific. That, that's yeah, yeah, exactly. That, yeah. That, that's what I meant. Yeah. It's a science class. You don't teach exactly. Them. You but go to cat. You go to catechism to learn the other one. Yeah, like in specific, like yeah, Sunday class religious for schools, that one yeah, and sure. Science yeah. class is for the other uh, one. Not when you teach like uh, lessons from the Bible and then put it in the science lessons. Oh no, 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 that doesn't happen. Yeah. No one. Yeah, that, that, that's that, what that I meant. That by doesn't se- happen in Singapore. Yeah, that's happens a separation. It happens in the states. Yeah, uh, in England. I mean, it's confusing. In one, you go along and it's like, oh, Big Bang, and you go to church. And, ah, it's a Big Bang. 
<laughs> Adam and Eve. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, it, the concept is there. There was a big bang. Or someone and Adam. Hmm? What? <laughs> you and your finger in the butt. I bet Adam didn't play with his butt that way. <laughs> but Adam the snake was involved. No, but y- y- if you think about it, yeah, that Adam and Eve, Big Bang, Snake, Snake. I don't know how he kind of wrote Snake. Snake and apple. The, devil, de- the devil. The, 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 the devil. The devil. The devil's work. Then they call it Adam's apple. Adam ate the apple and then had it the got stuck. Yeah, he got stuck. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> okay, no. A- <laughs> When you're young, you hear that, it's like, oh, that's why it's called the Adam's apple. And then it's like, oh, that's like so funny. Adam is ever uh, ate the apple and then he got stuck there. <laughs> and Eve doesn't have an apple. And like, after a while, it just... <laughs> it's like, it's what? Hilarious. All these stories. Yeah, yeah, and all and these and weird and stories. And they chose Adam. And you know, it's like, even alphabetical, right? They could have chose Aaron. Because it's AA. Yeah. Adam, Adam just seemed... Oh, how did they come up with the name Adam? Actually, no idea. Do no you know idea. Adam and Atom? You got to, you got to, you got to go back to the like Aramaic script. No, no. And see, see, Adam and Eve, Atom and evolution. Atom. Atom. Atom is pretty new word though. Atom and twentieth century, right? Atom yeah. and Eve, but you see, back then they're all prophets. They're supposed to see it in forward into the future. <laughs> huh? <laughs> supposed to. Supposed to. Supposed to. Uh. Hey, you know, they, uh, do you know LSD back then? That didn't ha- probably had a different name. They probably just called it like 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 happy fluid or something. They call ha- it acid. Uh, yeah, ha- happy acid. pill or something. He it's just acid. P- Paul. Paul could have been on the acid. Fuck it, lady. Paul? Who's John, Paul? John. 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 One of the prophets, ah. Uh. John. Wayne. John. Bro, use a pastor son, man. You you the should know this better than me. Use use uh, use it use it pastor, pastor, pastor son. You should know this better than me. I've I've read like. There's a couple of Johns in the Bible, though. It's John the Baptist and then John the Apostle. Ah, uh, see, this is where the oh, pastor son. Which one in. are you referring to? Come on, educate me. <laughs> <laughs> educate me. I'll do more than educate educate you. Let's go with John the Baptist. Uh, John the ba- John the Baptist. Isn't no, John the Baptist the no. person who baptized Jesus? Jesus? Yeah. yeah. I think what you're referring to is John the Apostle. Uh, he wrote John the book the of uh, yes, Revelation. The book of John. Yeah. So you're saying that he must be high on acid. No, not, not he must be. I would say he no, could no, acid have been. Acid is a very recent thing. No, I mean, it's not acid. LSD or whatever. Back then, it Mushrooms. could be, it could be called shrooms, anything. Probably shrooms. shrooms. Yeah. Do they have shrooms, shrooms in the Middle East? I don't know. Does it grow? The Golan Heights. There were shrooms there. They don't grow them anymore. In Bethlehem. Really? If they no, I'm <laughs> oh, f- <laughs> riffing you. No, if they <laughs> if they grew time. if they grew there some more, we or maybe have weed, marijuana. We would have more profits. Like if it grew, whatever grew yeah. there yeah. then, Wait, yeah. grew, if it grew now, we would have more profits now. Agree? Because whatever they consume them allowed them to see the future. Then I think they were just having wine. <laughs> Probably high S- in wine. S- yeah. Super, Super strong, strong wine. wine. Super strong wine. I don't think it was that uh, strong. It, it would have been much weaker, but they just had more. Or maybe their tolerance was like <laughs> like mine. Like shit. <laughs> like mine. Like shit. It's like this wine is good. Oh, it's hit yeah, me, Mary. It's hit me. <laughs> I, I, think, I didn't mean no I think back Mary. then, like wine and alcohol is not like not like today, right? Yeah, it was way, way like weaker. Yeah, they yeah, way weaker. way weaker. Oh yeah. yeah. Who's who? Who you to say that? Huh? And the and the whole they uh, used to feed it to children as well, like uh like a weaker version of it, medicine to help them sleep or something, right? No, just consume for nutrition. Oh yeah, I was reading. I'm reading about this somewhere. Yeah, yeah. This is made from like like they had smaller bowls for children and like. Huge I mean, now no one does it lah because yeah. we know that it's bad. No, like, but I think they did like uh, tests on the the vessels that they found. Like, they dug up. The archaeologists were like, wow. And then they like decipher like the recipe for the beverage that they, they, were they had in the in the bowl. Yeah. Oh no, it was in the beer? vessels. I was like, wow. Yeah, it's some kind of a beer. Is that why like the average lifespan is like 40 years old <laughs> back then? Because <laughs> everyone no. was getting wasted at like 10. Everybody's getting wasted back then. <laughs> no, Before they were drink- I think whatever they were drinking was like 1% or 0.5%. It's oh like yeah. negligible. Reels? Yeah. Like before you're 10, you have to get fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> way of life, way of life. Hey, but and then, uh, everyone but make fun no. of you in school if you're, no, not, you're not fucked up. You know, uh, uh, when you when you hit ten years old. But back then, ten years old is uh, like a an, an adult. True. Yeah, mm-hmm. true. I mean, when your lifespan is like forty years you're old, 12, right? when you're twelve, you're getting married. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're a girl. No, but Only the, if you're that woman. the thing is that back then, I don't think the twelve years old was like our twelve years old. Like our twelve years old was like still kids. You see them? Oh yeah. I mean, but back then, we probably like doing maybe hard they yeah. faster. I don't know. Could be. A lot of things. That's why we don't know for a fact what happened back then. I mean, yeah. we, we can research, and but we don't actually know what happened back then. John could be high. Could be. 
could have could have been mm, could, have, could been. have been high jesus could have been a jesus genius jesus genius <laughs> he could have just been a really smart fella oh my god no it's like yeah exactly it's like if i said that then i'll be going against everything <laughs> I, I, <laughs> you have learned <laughs> i've learned but no jesus could have been all that he could have been a healer a real he- i mean now could we have. know doctors you know doctors do heal like stuff but not crippled uh, i don't know what happened <laughs> <laughs> you break your spine you become a cripple yeah it's like you break your spine then no when he touches you and you become like you'll be able, able, able to walk again yeah like like maybe maybe there was a time spent maybe the, the Bible was cut short. It was actually Jesus touched the guy and then several years later he's able to walk. Ah, it was a slow <laughs> process, but you know for for dramatic effect they cut it short. Like yeah. touch and walk. You touch sound like a preacher, Sean. Ah uh, yeah. No, but it was my it was my second calling. The the <laughs> I, I was destined to be the Pope, you know that. Not destined uh, Young like Pope. I was groomed. Young Pope. <laughs> Anyone who has not watched Young Pope, Jude Law does a very, very good job. Excellent job. Watch Excellent it. Job. Watch it. Hey, Diane Pope. Keaton as well. Yeah. Oh, Diane Keaton. Yeah. yeah. On HBO. Only on Hope and Box Office. Very, very good show. I think we have... Uh, on that note, on the Young yeah. Pope's note, we shall end this.